Microphone, chicka chicka chat, one two one two. This is your host, not son, baby, and this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. You know, a lot of dudes ask me, should I text a woman the same day I get the number? Yes, you should. I'm, I'm not saying you should call her, but you should text her before the night is over. You know, see if she made it home safe. Say, you know, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so. It was nice to meet you. Lock and save my number. What do you have planned next weekend? Simple as that. It's not what you do. It's how you go about doing it. And you don't want to be long-winded. You want to get to the point, straight to the point to where she respects you. You understand me? You don't, you're not coming across as a pussy hound. You're not coming across as thirsty. You're not coming across like... You have no life. You're setting, you, you have an agenda. And a woman loves a man who takes charge, take control. I'm not saying that he has to be controlling. I'm saying that he knows what he wants and he's going to bring forth an agenda for her to accept or reject. You know, you got to be assertive. You know, I'm not saying you got to be aggressive. You got to be assertive. You know, if you go on a date with a woman, make suggestions. Say, do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? She could say yes or no. Then bring forth an alternative. Okay, you don't want to go here. What about there? What about this? What do you like to do? You know, you got to be assertive. Assert yourself in her life. Now, I'm not saying you got to be an asshole. You got to be aggressive and say, no, we going here. No, we going there. I say we're going there because I said so. Like, you don't want to be a Neanderthal about it. You know, you want to have some finesse. You want to make her feel that she matters. You understand me? And, you know, yes, you should text her, you know, hours after you get the number. See if she made it home safe. And then once you text her, then that when you set the tone. You set the tone that, you know, you're not playing games. This is not high school anymore. You know, this is not high school where you say, okay, I'm going to wait until three days pass. Then I'm going to text her. You understand me? Because, you know, a lot of women, when they get older, they experience the games. You know, they experience the bullshit. They have so many battle scars to where they appreciate a man who goes after what he wants. He's a go-getter. And women love that. So you have to show flashes of that from the start, from the gate, from the get-go, from the rip, from the jump. You know, you have to show her that I like you. I'm interested in you. What's up? Let's do something. Like, you're not being thirsty or or hound by texting her the same day. Like, keep it short and brief. Short and sweet, baby. You know, you, you, you make it short because it's twice as strong. You understand me? You don't have to be long winded. Trim the fat when you speak to a woman. Every time you speak to a woman, it should have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, what you doing? Let's go here. Let's go there. You don't want to go there? Okay, cool. How about this? What you doing today? I'm doing so-and-so, so-and-so. You checking on her. You know what I'm saying? You could check on her, but at the same time, make plans. Include her in your schedule if you really like this woman. if Even if you want to get a nut. It's like when you contact a woman, she's expecting you to bring some type of value in her life, especially when she views you at the prize and you view yourself as the prize, you shouldn't just hit her up willy nilly because what the fuck you hitting her up for? You know, what can you bring to her life that could enhance her? That's that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm not saying that you got to be a sugar daddy. I'm not saying you got to be a sugar daddy. I'm not saying that you got to cash app her. I'm not saying that you got to send her money through Zelle or you know, PayPal, whatever the case may be. But when you contact somebody, male, female, whatever, it has to be an agenda. What's the point of you contacting me? What is your what is your angle? And your angle is that you want to do something. Like the only time that you should hit up people on the whim, the type of people, that's your friends and family. You know what I'm saying? You hit up your friends and family to see, you know, to check up on them. You check on your loved ones. But when you're courting a woman, you should have an agenda set that she feel confidence. She feel confident rather that you know you lay out an agenda to to better her situation in regards to dating. You understand me? Because a lot of women are bored and a lot of women are lonely. So that's for you to bring some type of value in her life. And I'm sure if she's the type of woman who could value, who could bring value to your life, then she's a keeper because you don't want a chick. She's leaning on you. You know. She's a fucking burden and she's a bill because she doesn't have her shit together. You want a boss woman. You want a boss chick just like how you're a boss dude because you got your shit together and you're self-sufficient and you're at where you want to be in life. You understand me? So, you know, fellas, should you text a woman the same day? Hell yeah, you should. Hell yeah. And keep it short.
Keep it short. And when you text a woman, whether she's a booty call, whether you just want to fuck the shit out of her, whether she's a, she just an easy nut, an easy fuck, make a plan. Always come with a plan. Always come with a, with a plan A through Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a, not for nothing, you know, low key, a lot of chicks, they just don't want you to hit them up all willy nilly. Hey, what you doing? How you doing? Good morning. How you doing? Where you at? How you doing? How's your day? Hey, boo. Hey, how you doing? You look good. I love your picture. It's, it's like, y'all have a, a textuation ship. <laughs> like, like, what's the point? If you're not making any plans with this woman, why the hell are you hitting her up? Why? You need a purpose. You need a point. Everything you do in life should have a purpose. Doesn't matter if I have something to do with a female. Everything you do needs a purpose. You understand me? Like, if you just doing shit, just do shit, it's like you walking aimlessly around with no direction and no guidance. And a woman could recognize that. And she loses faith in you. She loses confidence in you. Because she figures... If you can't guide a conversation and guide your courting, your, your courtship, who to say that you can guide your own life? The most simplest things that you can't even guide, who to say that you can guide something like more heavy, you know, more significant? Can you even guide your own life? Can you even, can you even ride a fucking bike? <laughs> can you even guide a bike? You understand me? So that's, that's, how, that's how you gain confidence. And your situationship or even relationship and a woman because you know what you know what you want and she has faith that if she follows you, if she submits to you, she follows you, then she knows without a shadow of a doubt that you're gonna lead you and her to the promised land. You understand me now? I'm not saying you gotta, you know, date a broke bitch or a bum bitch who doesn't have shit for herself, and you know. That's not to say that you got to be Captain Save a Ho. And now I'm not I'm not calling women hoes. I'm just using a figure of speech. You understand me? But you know, get with somebody who at least striving to achieve goals. She doesn't have to be a rich girl. She doesn't have to be wealthy. She she could be at a point where she could be at her lowest point, but because you see her striving, because you see her busting her ass, you know, putting in the hours, waking up early, going to bed late. She's going to school. She's taking up nursing on IT, information technologies. You know, she want to become an RN or LPN or ABCDEFG, whatever the fuck they call it. You know, you know that she want to become something. And, you know, a diamond in the rough, you know, they could shine brighter than people who are already where they want to be. Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people with money, because they have no guidance and no direction, they're miserable as shit. Because, yeah, they at where they want to be in life, but it's like they have no end game. It's like, okay, I'm here. Now what? You understand me? So, you know, it, life is a continuous grind, baby. You got to hustle until you're not here. Hustle until you start pushing up daisies. Hustle until you take your last breath. And to get a woman completely confident in you, you have to have a plan A through Z all the time, all the time. You know, being a man is a is a full time job, 24, 7, 365 or 366 on a leap year. You know, it's, it's, there's no breaks, baby. There's no breaks. No pun intended, because we got we got to keep on going. Keep on going until this world blacks out, you know, until somebody, you know, cut off the lights on a small world and on it. And on that note, on on chicka, chicka, on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Not Some, baby. Check out my website at www.notsomebase.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinger Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBus, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions and all concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. Yeah, da, 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 dig. And on that note, until next time, peace. You know.